to enter YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a lot, a whole whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for following me on all of my um, various on social media handles. I appreciate you guys a whole lot. So guys, if you are new to my channel, this is your first time of coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel here on YouTube. Yeah. So I would appreciate if you would hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the notification bell on the side just to get an update whenever I upload a new video. So that's just like I'm basically the essence of that bell. So guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an A-line and mix Ankara gown. So I'm going to be mixing and two Ankara and fabrics. So I'm going to be mixing them and then I'm going to be showing you how to use and bias and binding to do and the finishing so you could see from the picture that i have up there so i'm going to show you how to do that and then i'm going to be adding an inner and pockets to this and dress so it's really and simple and easy yeah it is really simple and easy so i'm going to make it as simple as easy for you to understand even a beginner you should be able to pull this off so um let's just get started so i'm just going to I'll be drafting on my um, pattern paper first because I actually don't want to cut so because you see the middle part of the, the, the dress we're going to be cutting it out so I'm going to draft it on a pattern paper so I'm just going to bring out my pattern paper now and then lay it out for you to see okay guys so you see I folded on my pattern paper so you see the way I folded it so I just held it and unfolded at an angle just unfold at an angle so i'm going to measure out on this top part that's the part i'm going to use so i'm just going to pull it this is what i'm going to use as my start line so i'm just trying to get out the full length of the dress so i'm going to use um 40 inches that's the full length of my dress this is 40 inches I'll add two inches as my allowance and then the width in folding this kind of um, dress what you are going to do you, are, you use the biggest part to fold which is the down part the down part I'm making use of about um, 17 inches that's the width about 17 inches so I'm just going to add one inch making it 18 inches this part so it is okay the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to impute uh, all of my measurements. The first thing I'm going to do, this is this line is going to serve as my shoulder line. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark out my bust line, which is 10 inches. This is 10 inches for my bust line. And then my waist line, is, I'm making use of 17 inches. And then my hip, between and my bust and my hip, even though it is a free gown, I'm making it of nine inches and I, I just want to put that into consideration and then the full length of my dress so i will rule out all these lines now for you to see so we're going to start uh, imputing our measurements into and uh, this um, pattern now the first um, measurement we're going to include is the shoulder and measurement and my shoulder measurement so i'm just going to put this so you'll be able to see it um, properly is my shoulder measurement which is 14 so when you divide 14 into 2 you have 7 inches this is 7 inches i'll add a 1.5 inch allowance for two it's going to be like a stitch so you could decide to add your allowance on your pattern paper or you could decide to not to add the allowance when you're transferring to the fabric you add but i'm just going to add it directly here from this line i'm going to measure out my armhole line I'm making use of 8 inches for my armhole. This is 8 inches. I'll connect it with a straight ruler. The next thing, I'll mark out my shoulder slope from this point. I'll measure 1 inch. And then I'm going to slope it towards the next line part. The next measurement we'll include now is the bust measurement. And my bust is usually 36. When you divide 36 into 4, you have 9 inches. This is 9 inches because it is a free and dress. You see, it is not tight. So you are going to determine how many inches you actually want to add to it. <laughs> so for uh, this part, I'm going to be adding as much as um, 3 inches to the bust part. I'll add 3 inches to the bust part. 
and then the next measurement I'm going to measure up now is my waist measurements. Usually my waist is actually on 34 inches. When you divide 34 into 4, you have 8.5. This is 8.5. You know I use on 3.5 inches for on the bust line part. For this part, I'm going to use, I'm going to repeat on the same 3.5 or I could just make it on 4 inches. Because I want it to be really, I don't want it tight at all. So add that. I'm not adding it, any that to this dress. The, the hip line part, my hip is 40 inches, which is when you divide into 4, you have 10. So I just want you to note what I'm trying to do. This part, I added 3.5 inches allowance. That's my bust line. On my waistline, I added 4. And my hip line, I'm going to add as much as 5 inches. So I'm going to add 5 inches. To this part that's my hip part and then you remember the down i said i'm making it of six 17 inches this is the down part of my gown this is 17 inches and then i'm adding one inch allowance so i'm going to connect these lines now to to form my a line so that is how simple it is to create out an a line dress so I'm, I'm going to rule it out right now i'm going to cut it out now so i finish i'm cutting out the you can see how it is looking it's looking um the shape came out well so if you feel it's not big enough you could decide to add to the width because if you see from the picture that i showed you earlier the dress actually has and the neckline is a high neckline but i'm not going to be including the neckline yet it's always better when making dresses like this that you're going to be cutting and adding just leave out the neckline after joining it is better that way that is when you include the neckline with that you get it and perfectly wear the neckline will not be too big it will not be too small so what i'm going to do now with this pattern i'm going to cut out the back piece first I'm going to cut out the back piece and then the back piece because it is the neckline is high i'm going to add two inches i'll add two inches for zipper allowance to the back neckline i'm just going to cut that part out after cutting that part then we'll come and work on the front and we'll still use the same pattern for the front we'll work on it to cut out the part that we're going to mix i'm just going to do that right now so this is on the back and piece I finished cutting it. I'm just I'm just going to take it out now. Okay, so I've marked out and uh, the center piece that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to explain to you what I did. So this part I'm getting rid of this. I'm just going to explain to you on the neckline and point. Here is what I did. I used um, 1.5 inches for the neckline point. You know the fabric is on fold, so I measured 1.5 and then marked it. And then I came to my chest line and point, which is where my armhole is. I used a 2.5 on the chest line point. And then on the neck, sorry, on my bust line, I used a 3 inches. And then this is my waist line. On the waist line, I used 4.5 inches. And then my hip line, on my hip line, I used 6.5 inches. And then the down part, which is the down part of my A-line gown. I use um 10 inches so this is like the uh, measurement this one that I did initially I found that, that it is too big so so that was why I just undid it again so I'm not making use of this part this is what we are going to use now I'm going to cut cut along this line and then we'll place on our fabric to cut out the front piece so we have our front piece this is the center. I just want to open it up and see. So if you feel yours, if you want it to be wide, so you just use your own desired and measurement to do that out. So this part, this center part, is what I'm going to be replacing with um, this Ankara. And then this other part, I'm going to cut with my regular Ankara. I'm going to um, place this part now, and then I'm going to cut out. Okay, guys, so I've cut out, um, I finished cutting them out. This is the center piece and then the side. And this is the back. I'm just going to leave the back here. Let's uh, go and work on the this part. So I'm going to show you how to join them together. 
and then finish it up. It's really simple. It's just a straight and stitch. But I'm going to show you how to finish up the edges with and the bias binding. There was a time I actually did a video, and someone was asking for me to show how to to finish up and with bias. So the next thing I'm going to do this a middle piece. I'm going to take it to my ironing table. I'm going to iron it. I'm just going to give it a good press just to have a line on the center because I'm going to be I'm placing a bias on it but I'm not going to be cutting it open I'm not cutting it open and there's something I forgot to say because after stitching so sometimes most times your fabric will get and truncated so what I did I added half inch around uh, my pattern that's on the fabric so you can see what I have I added half an inch to this and then this also and then the, the length also I increased the length by one inch and this one also I increased the length also by one inch because I don't want it and truncated after stitching them together we'll go over to the machine now and go and start doing that okay I'm going to start stitching now but there is something I realized while ironing for me alone if I'm going to be doing this it's really going to be I, I will not have any problem I'm creating and the bias binding on the center but and for beginners sake what I'm going to do you can decide to open this part and join it back but if you don't want to open it and join it back here's what you are going to do to make your work look accurate you are, I'm just going to stitch this point with about a quarter of an inch I'm just going to run a straight stitch that this is the center now I'm going to run a uh, straight stitch this is just going to, to enable me and place the bias and properly okay i finished and stitching i finished stitching it so this is um, how it is looking like so you see what we have now so with this now it's going to, it's really going to be easy for you as a beginner to be able to place and this and um, bias and binding so this is the center and piece now i'm going to show you how to attach and bias binding how to finish up like this i'm just going to take it like this you see what i'm doing this is come is folding this way i'm going to take it like this and then i'll pick it here and then i'm going to start stitching i'm just stitching i'm just using my hand to open open up and then stitching along the bias and line Okay, so uh, after uh, stitching, here is what you are going to do. I took it uh, to my ironing table and then I ironed it down. Since I want to use the same uh, width of the bias and strip, so I, I ironed it down. I'm going to start uh, stitching now. So to start stitching again, I'm just going to turn my fabric this way. You turn it however it's going to be comfortable for you to stitch. So it does not really have any um, pattern. So I, I'll just turn it and then you are going to use a real and good and matching and thread. You are just going to bring it as close as possible to the edge. I'm going to start stitching like this now. You are just going to stitch as close as possible. and stitching now you see and uh, what we have is looking so beautiful for the center piece so this is how you actually uh, use a bias binding so you see how neat it is looking the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to join the side side i'm just going to join the side and then i would use uh, my bias and strip just i'm going through the same process go back and uh, to the cutting table to cut out the neckline and then the facing for this gown okay and um, guys you can see what we have on the table now it's already almost looking like the dress that i showed you earlier so i like how and uh, the joining came out it came out fine so mine i actually joined on the front side so you could see what we have at the back now the back is looking so neat it does not really have any rough um edges inside the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the neckline. So you could decide to do any a neckline of your choice on this. So you you place on the back and the front together now, and then we'll cut out the neckline. Remember the back piece 
I'm going to be adding a zipper to it because the neckline is actually a high and neckline. So there's no way you could um you are going to be able to put it on if there is no zipper on it. I'm going to uh, measure out the neckline and I'm going to use a um, three. 3.5 inches or 3 inches so I could I will do and 3.5 inches width and then the depth that I'm going to do remember the half um, I have half an inch on top always add half an inch on top for all of your dresses so that it comes out from the allowance so that's why I added two inches so from there you stitch your shoulder and then you still have enough room to hem the down of your dress so the depth that I'm going to use for this neckline, you could always uh, measure out how high you want your neckline to be. I'm going to be making use of about um, 5 inches. I'll make use of about 5 inches. This is 5 inches. I'm just going to use uh, my cord. This is for my front and neckline. So the back neckline is going to be higher. I'm just going to still maintain the... 3.5 inches width but the back I'm going to use on uh, 2 inches for the back neckline I'm just going to do this and then the front so I'm going to cut out now and then I'm going to go and start I'll cut out the facing I'll actually show you how to cut out a facing so this is my 5 inches it is looking a little bit too deep at the end of the day it looks like I made mine more a little bit deeper than what I have there, but it's okay. So if you know you don't want yours to be as deep as mine, you just you reduce it to about um, four inches or even three inches, depends on how really deep you want it to, and how really high you want it to be. So I'm going to cut out facing now. So cutting out facing, you are just uh, you could decide to turn with um, bias, um, but most times I really don't like that. Facing actually makes your the neckline really neat. All you are going to do is just fold your fabric and then you cut out just um the top part of your body. That's just basically what a facing is. Okay, so I've cut out and the facing. Look at what happened, guys. I just chopped off my my tip. So that means this is condemned. So in cutting out the facing, I just placed it and cut it out. Here is how it is going to look like. Most times when I'm cutting my facing, I usually don't cut out the neckline part. So with this, when I'm stitching, it actually helps me to get a very um, good uh, neckline. That's what I mean by very neat uh, neckline. I'm just going to take it like this. I'll place it like this. When I want to stitch, I'll just place it like this. And then I'll take it to my machine and then I'll stitch along this line. So that's um, basically most times, that's what I normally do. So after stitching, I'll just turn it and then trim out the excess. So I'll just go and do that to the back and the front. And then I'll come back and show you how to attach and the pocket. It's really uh, simple and easy. Okay, I finished uh, stitching. I finished stitching. So this is my uh, facing. So for the facing, I used uh, about, uh, I forgot to tell you the length. I used about 10 and half inches that's the length that i use for the facing and then for the neckline so i did a little uh, adjustment that and neckline i actually did not like that it was so deep so what i did i measured out and the length of my of my dress so i found that that i still had enough allowance that's i still had enough room for the length so i had to reduce and the length by one inch so i had to reduce and the shoulder that's the front and the back and shoulder i had to reduce the front and the back shoulder to make uh, my neckline so you see my neckline now is a little bit the length the height is a little bit small and then the back one after reducing the front so i had to deepen the back one a little bit so you, now you could see uh, my neckline is looking uh, small and cute because i'm going to add a zipper to the back so that's this is how um that's just one way by which you correct and necklines so and the next thing i cut out and uh, some fabric that i'm going to use to do and um, pocket all you are going to all um i'm going to do when working with this kind of um dress that does not really have and that is not really fitted in taking out the 
pockets and part you, you're just going to measure so for the pocket i'm going to use about um i'm going to start pinning from 14 inches that's from my shoulder to uh, my 14 inches and then okay let me do 15 let me do 15 because this, this is like a bogus dress so i will do 15 15 inches this is um 15 inches that's from the shoulder to 15 inches so i'm going to measure eight inches that's how much and width i used and for my and pocket so here's what i'm going to do and i cut them out into a um, four piece so this is like four pieces and here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to come like this i'll take this is the right side of my fabric remember the 15 inches width that i length that i measure i'm just going to take the edge of my my pocket like this i'm going to pin it this is the right side of the fabric and then this is the right side i'm just i'm going to pin it and to secure it this is just like i said this is like the easiest laziest way of fixing an inner pocket and at the end of the day you are still going to come out with a very um, good and um, pocket so i'll take the second one like this also so you see what i have i'll take the second one also and i'll come to the right side also on the 15 inches and mark and point and then i'm going to pin like this i'm going to pin i'll do the same thing to the other side so at the end of the day this is what you are going to have you see them facing each other so when i'm joining this is what i'm just using this for you to see so when i'm joining your dress that's your side seam here is how you are going to join your side seam since we're not using any uh, measurements that's what i mean it's not a fitted dress you're just going to take it like this and when i'm uh, fixing when joining sorry when joining the side seam you are going to start stitching from the edge of your dress you are going to stitch like this and then when you get to this point you are going to determine how wide you want the the in opening of your pocket to be so for this now here's what i'm going to do i'm going to i want about um five inches so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to come to this point like this i'm going to mark here and then i'm going to mark here i'll mark this point and then i'll mark this point so when i'm stitching i'm going to stitch along this line when i get to this point i'm going to top stitch do a top stitch and then i'm going to scroll like this with my machine and then i'll come like this like i said i said this is like the easiest way of fixing a pocket and then i'll stitch it like this like this like this and when i get to this point again where i started where i measured my five inches i'll do a top stitch and then from this point i'm just going to take it down to the hemline so this is like the easiest way of fixing this pocket i have it on my channel i, I normally use it a lot when making illustration because it's beginner and friendly so i'm going to go and couple the join and the side of my seam and then for the sleeve i'm using a regular pencil sleeve so i'll drop the link down on the description box if you don't know how to cut a pencil sleeve you can decide to cut any sleeve of your own and choice so i'll just go back now join my side seam fix my pocket and um, sorry fix my zipper and then fix the sleeve and then we're done with the dress and I'll, I'll show you the final look of this dress okay guys so you could see this is the final look of our a line and mix and match and gown so you could see at the end it came out beautifully well so this this is the pocket i have the other one on the other side just like the way i told you how to fix it so this is the back at the end of the day i added the zipper so because of the neckline and then the neckline and then the neckline so I, like i told you i was able to adjust it by reducing the the shoulder um measurement i just trimmed out a little bit the only problem that i had at the end of the day is just that it's um reduced the length of my dress but at the end of the day is the length is still okay so i'm still uh, safe so guys if you find what i did with this um dress this video helpful i would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and then if you are new and you have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video Bye.